Why does parenting have to be so hard? Like, ugh. morning guys it was a rough night last night um whenever my mom went to leave last night after we got home chloe didn't want to leave she was like adamant that she was staying so i was like well like i'll keep her and i'll just because we have to go to town today so i was like i'll just drop her off on the way to town except she was up like every hour on the hour last night having to either go pee or get water or something and when she used to live here she would pee on her floors and so i always had to get up with her to make sure that didn't happen <laughs> so it was a rough a rough night and then luke was out at like five this morning so but amelia slept fine amelia slept till 8 30. amelia just woke up we have to be out of the house in 20 minutes and she's just eating eating her breakfast can you say hi she's having some cheerios with blueberries and milk is that good? No, of course not. <laughs> so anyways, this morning we are off to uh, the library. For those of you who used to watch or who watched our earlier vlogs, we used to go to the library on Wednesday, um, like a baby bookworms thing. And so they would do like singing and songs and um like reading books and stuff like that. But then we all stopped going because all the kids got to an age where they just ran around everywhere and didn't sit with us and it just wasn't fun anymore. So I guess now they have a standing baby bookworms and they put us all into the meeting room, which is great because then they can't go anywhere. <laughs> and there's like Play-Doh and water and sand and books and, and stuff like that. So we're gonna give that a try this morning. And then we're going to my friend Meg's house because before Amelia was born, I was adamant that I was cloth diapering her. And so I bought a huge stash of cloth diapers for my friend um, and ended up not, not using them because I stuck with, <laughs> yeah. So I stuck with the disposables from the Onnit's company. And so I've been trying to sell these. Um, but nobody seems to want to buy like the stash as like a whole. And so Mag is like the cloth diapering queen. So I'm taking all my stuff over to her today. She's going to help me like separate it all so I can sell it like in smaller like groups. And then I think we're going to go for a swim because today is supposed to be the hottest day of the year. We have the AC on in here and I am like, I am sweating. So I can only imagine what today is going to be like. They have a pool so we're bringing our swimsuits but... Holy Hannah, is it ever hot. Not my cup of tea. So I just have to pack up a lunch and some snacks and swimsuits and stuff and then we are off. <laughs> All right, hello guys. Let's go on this guy there for a pee. In this disgustingly hot weather. <laughs> um, so this morning we went to the library group, which was a lot of fun. Um, it was nice because it was in like a meeting room and so um, I, they couldn't escape. <laughs> and so I didn't have to be chasing Amelia everywhere. <laughs> so that was nice. And then we went to my friend Meg's house and <coughs> Amelia is in this I want to climb everything stage and I don't want to listen to you <laughs> stage and um, so we had a couple of accidents at Meg's house um, I was with Meg trying like we were all in the same room this little playroom <laughs> and I was with Meg figuring out the cloth diapers and all that and Amelia and her daughter Freya were playing sorry we were playing on um it's like this, it's like the one side, they, it's like these four little climbing like steps and then it's like this two foot, two or three foot platform and then this like three foot slide now. Like it's, it's like Amelia's slide outside only it's like half the size. <laughs> and they had it in their living room and Amelia was up it and she was sitting there on the slide 
She was about to go down and I wasn't hovering over her. She's done this slide. She's done like 10 foot slides before on her own and she's been totally fine. But then all of a sudden she decided to switch directions. Like, what's the word I'm looking for? Turned her body around and all of a sudden went to go down the steps on the other side. And before I could get to her, she just, from the top, face planted onto their hardwood floor. And so of course I'm, I'm traumatized. She's screaming. Like immediate like bruised goose egg on the side of her head. So I got her calmed down. Eating lunch and whatever. And then like an hour and a half later, she goes over to it again. And um, was climbing up the one side like she does all the time. Like she does here, like she does on every other slide. And I was a couple feet away, and then I don't know if she lost her footing or what, but she fell backwards, and then, yeah, nice big goose egg on the back of her head. So I'm, like, traumatized. I was trying not to cry when I was at Meg's house. I was feeling like the worst mom ever, and I cried, like, the whole way home. And so I did what I could to, like, keep her awake all the way home. It was, like, a 30-minute drive, and our highway is closed because there was a bad transport accident. So I had to take all the back roads home, <laughs> but she fell asleep maybe five minutes away from home and I transferred her right into her crib and she's still sleeping and so she's been sleeping her, oh she's not sleeping anymore, she's been sleeping for about three hours and of course usually I would take a nap at the same time, but I'm like worried, sick. <laughs> um, like, she seems like her fine self. She's still eating. She was still singing. She was still talking, laughing, everything. Um, and, like, so she seems fine. But, of course, I'm worried about, like, concussions. I'm like, how can a child's head take so much, like, impact and injuries? And it's not, like, I try not to be a hover parent. I try not to be right there. But it's, like, now it's, like, if I don't, I mean, I prevent a lot more injuries from happening, but I'm just like, how can, like, how is her, their head okay? How is a child's head okay with being hit this many times on a floor? And, like, I can only prevent, I can't, I mean, I'd have to baby wear her 24-7 to prevent everything. And I understand that, but, and then, of course, I'm, I did the dumb thing and I Googled it, but, like, what to look for. And then all of a sudden I see this, it's called, like, the second impact the second impact syndrome or something like that and it's where like when a child gets a head injury and gets a second one before the first one is able to heal and that can be fatal sometimes so of course I am like internally freaking out so anyways she seems fine so I'm just gonna keep an eye on her make sure she eats keep an eye on like her balance and her talking and her pupils and make sure she's not throwing up and <sighs> Why does parenting have to be so hard? Like, ugh. why do they have to fall so many times? And I understand that they're exploring and they're having fun and they need to learn this kind of stuff and their balance isn't great and, oh my God. Anyways, she looks like she wants to go back to sleep, but I'm gonna go in and get her because it's five o'clock and if she doesn't if she doesn't get up she's not gonna go down tonight so and it's like 47 degrees and I can't get a hold of Luke who's on top of a copper roof right now and so of course I'm like worrying about him and oh I hate worrying so much but I'm gonna go and grab her can you dance <gasps> can you say hello no no <laughs> I think she's okay. Uh, she did sleep a long time, like I said, almost three hours, but I think she was also exhausted. What do you think? She seems to be fine. She was running around with the football going, hike, 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 go. <laughs> Her father would be proud. <laughs> go, hike, hike. Hike. <laughs> no. No. Doggy. Doggy, yeah. So you can see one bruise here, and then the other one's right there on the back of her head yeah to hit your head today yeah yeah <gasps> I 
So I think she's okay. I'm just going to keep an eye on like her sleeping and her pupils and her balance and like her soft spots. And then, cause obviously if they're bulging, that's a problem. But anyways, I'm going to start dinner. I've had a random craving for, for shepherd's pie, which is not something that I crave or eat like ever. Um, my aunt Kathy makes it pretty often in like the fall and winter and we'll go over there and have it for dinner. But like, I, n I never make it. I just never think of it. And we have all the ingredients to make it. So I was like, I'm gonna make shepherd's pie. Yeah, I'm gonna have to heat up the oven, but when a pregnancy woman has a craving, you make it, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and do the shepherd's pie. I'm using the craft recipe. So I don't know. We'll see, I'll let you know how it turns out. All I know is that I have a whole lot of hamburger that was on sale that I can use up. So let's see how, uh, if Miss Amelia lets me, uh, lets me do it and I'll let you know how it turns out. All right, so here it is before I finish. We've got the bottom layer, which is the hamburger, which I cooked and drained and then I put uh, flour uh, in it to thicken it up and I put beef broth, which I just use the, the Epicure uh, beef base. Mix it with water, that makes the broth. Put that in there with some ketchup and the frozen peas and corn and cook that. And then this top layer is the potatoes, which I boiled and I leave the skins on. I boiled them with some cloves of garlic, which I never even thought to do before, which is a genius idea. Um, and then strain, put them back in the pot, mashed them with some sour cream, and then uh, mix some cheese in with it. So nice. Actually, looks really, really good. I'm impressed with myself. And I am. Um, I doubled the batch because. Oh my goodness. Honey, is your water empty? Do you need more? Is it all done? And I did it all with her attached to my leg, but she just hasn't let me go. So anyway, that's gonna go in the oven at 375 for, I think, 18 minutes. And then uh, she'll be good. So I'll let you know how it tastes. Water, okay, one second, sweetheart. Touchdown. Ready? Go! Go! On your bum. Huh? Ready? Go! <laughs> On your bum. On your bum. Good girl. Good girl. Song for the kitty. Come here, kitty. Come here, buddy. <laughs> okay, so we are getting ready for tubby time. Amelia is, my nerves are shot today. Amelia is just, 
Hi. Don't you be jumping on the bed. Yeah, she does everything I tell her not to. <laughs> nine, nine. <laughs> so anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. So if you enjoyed today's vlog, give it a thumbs up. Leave a nice and friendly comment below and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. 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 <laughs> Kayla? <laughs> Bye.